Hi, my name is Lydia and I'm part of the North Beach region and I'm going to share a devotional about loving your neighbors, yourself, and other disciples and ultimately loving God. So the governor of Virginia officially ordered a stay at home order. So we're all gonna have to find very different ways to communicate with each other and love each other. And I wanna share a scripture that I found. Mark 12, 28 through 33. One of the teachers of the law came and heard them debating. Noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer, he asked him, of all the commandments, which is the most important? The most important one, answered Jesus, is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Well said, teacher, the man replied. You are right in saying that God is one and there is no one but him. To love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, and with all your strength. And to love your neighbor as yourself is more important than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. This is really important because I can really value my comfort over loving other people, specifically through FaceTime and calling. I don't really like to um, talk to people through my phone, but I have to sacrifice that little bit of comfort so I can reach out to my friends from school and just neighbors since we're not leaving our houses, right? And I think it's really interesting that when we hear love your neighbor as yourself, we often forget that we also have to love ourselves to love our neighbors. And I think it's really important that before we can accept our neighbors, we also have to accept ourselves. And that leads me to my next scripture, which is 1 John 2, 9 through 11. Anyone who claims to be in the light but hates a brother or sister is still in the darkness. Anyone who loves their brother and sister lives in the light, and there is nothing in them to make them stumble. But anyone who hates a brother or sister is in the darkness and walks around in the darkness. They do not know where they are going because the darkness has blinded them. Without loving your fellow disciples, we're all blind. So let's keep our eyes open so we can love God and love others and love ourselves.